Hi, how you doing? It's Michael from the Indicator Guys, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about trend lines in TradeStation. Now, we had a customer recently um, who was having a little bit of confusion in TradeStation, and they basically had trend lines set up like this. So, when you draw your line on the chart, um, it actually extends the line all the way to the left and all the way to the right, and um, the easiest way to basically fix this or rather change this is uh, right click and choose format trend line and then you have these options extend left and extend right now on all of these tabs you've got a set as default option so what you can do is untick these two options and choose set as default and what that basically means is that every time you draw a new trend line it will basically follow the same style as the way that you set up your defaults so you can have your trend lines working different ways depending on how you do your analysis um, if you do a lot of Gartley patterns, Elliott Wave patterns um, you might want to set your trend lines up differently so I'm going to show you a little bit about how we can use this to uh, draw in some Elliott Wave stuff as well so set as default, click OK, and you can see now we've got this short trend line. Um, this is a freestyle trend line, which what that basically means is I can put it anywhere I want on the chart, and you can basically just you know do what you want with this trend line. And now the next thing that I want to show you is basically um, if you're doing a lot of um, Elliott Wave stuff, you can go to this calculation tab, and you can choose the extreme option and um, what that basically means is price will snap to a high and a low depending on obviously where you draw it from so if you drag your trend line around your chart you can see there it's flicking between the lows of all of these candles um, if I move it this way eventually it will flick to the high because price over here is higher than price over here okay so this moves to the low and this moves to the high if I drag it back that way sooner or later there you go it just snaps back down to the bottom so you drag your trend line to where you would like it and it attaches itself always to the bottom and a high and you can just draw in your lines here so if you're drawing some patterns and I'm just gonna do set the defaults on this again set as default click OK and draw in one more trend line so you can start to draw um, your trend lines in and as you draw them in they'll basically snap to highs and lows um, based on the sort of analysis that you want to do okay so that's basically how you do um, your extreme trend lines and the next thing that I'll show you um, is another option which you have which is fixed point now fixed point you've got the choice of open high low close um, high plus low divided by two now depending on what option you choose uh, let's go with the open if we click OK this trend line now is gonna snap to the open of both candles okay so this is always gonna snap to the open of both candles and you can change that to the low or however you wanna set that up basically um, for the most part you'll only really use these first three options um, you've got regression options and screen angle options and GAN angle um, I'm not going to cover those here uh, if you are interested in learning more about those options uh, leave a comment and I'll do I'll do another video on that um, so let's change back to freestyle choose set as default and now I can drag these trend lines back again however I want um, the next cool thing that you can do is um, say you put an order in down here and uh, you just want to make you want to say that this is where my stop is you can format your trend line and change the color of it uh, to red you can also change the style and set as default again if you click set as default now when I draw another trend line you'll see that it comes in like that now one last thing which I'll quickly show you is labels um, you can choose this option here which is basically show labels and you've got um, a few things that you can basically display uh, on each trend line that you draw so you've got um, show price percentage change, show price net change, show bar count and show time span okay so I'm going to turn all of these on 
and I'm going to click set as default and click OK and you can see now that I get a set of labels appearing which tells me how many uh, bars and days that my um, trend line has spanned over and it also tells me the change in percentage and also the change in price between the two points okay so this is again really helpful um, when you start doing things with your calculation like attaching it to the extremes and um, say you wanted to find out the difference between here and here um, that's a little bit difficult to see but um, you can see there over 36 days it changed 3.29 uh, percent okay so that's basically another great feature of the trend lines we'll turn this off again tick set as default and um, we'll go back to style and change this back to solid line and set as default again and calculation extreme and set as default set as default okay okay so that's basically trend lines in TradeStation and I hope this video um, provided you with some help and some insight into how you can use trend lines differently to help you analyze the markets quicker thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great videos